For 10 years, I've been struggling to make films. I've tried to make stuff I believe in, but I'm always let down. Instead, I've decided to document my life and struggle to create. Sometimes you don't have the tassels on them, and then they're called the pasties. And this is for my jail number when I have like police badges. Everyone wants to be rich, naked and famous and beautiful and have feathers and diamonds and corsets. And... One of my biggest influences for my Mrs. Murphy career is the Toulouse Lautrec Marlon Rouge posters. And I didn't only like the posters, I liked the whole thing. Being a beautiful can-can dancer in Paris at the last turn of the century, dazzled in diamonds and feathers, who doesn't want to be that? This is for a burlesque club called Kittenville. And I think you can really work with posters so much more than you actually do these days. And, and I can say, is this art or is this just commercial poster? I think, I think this is art. <laughs> Always when society is changing, the creative ones are the ones you know, putting it forward. <laughs> Maybe 100 years ago, those persons would have done paintings or whatever. So I actually think it's kind of the same people doing it. It's just that the, the society has a different angle on it. I don't really paint like in oil. I don't do oil paintings, uh, but I really, really do enjoy making great posters. Oh Lord, I see what brings me here. It's a mother to all my wandering. Uh, I grew up in Mora, Dalarna, about four hours north of Stockholm. In a small village with a lot of cross-country skiers and downhill skiers. <laughs> These days I'm, I'm glad that I grew up in a small place, but it was kind of... I think I had to struggle more than I would have done if I would have grown up, for example, in here in Stockholm. And girls will come in There's something special about coming from a small town. You grow up knowing one world. Then as you get out of there, you realize that you haven't seen anything yet. When I came to Stockholm, it seemed like such a big city. But then as you get used to living here, you realize that it's just another small town. But growing up, wanting to move to a bigger city to find something else, it's such an important drive for creators. I always thought it would be really, really nice to do, like, the Bible, you know, the best-selling book of all ages, <laughs> all times. Uh, and actually, I'm doing it right now. So I'm working on the new Bible for the Swedish church. Well, I guess this is JC, my new BFF, when he was, when he was born. <laughs> every chapter, every Bible book will start with um, like a movie poster. <laughs> this is Jonah, for example, and of course it's, um, it's supposed to be Jaws. Top 10 movies inspired by the Bible. Top 10 songs inspired by the Bible. For, for example, here's this Nirvana lyric. The usual part of the Bible is like if you want to read about happiness or if you want to read about love or if you want to read about grief or something, you have this... Um, yeah, tips for where to look. Uh, but this time we did it um, like a comic strip. I really do love Stockholm, but it's also very anxious and shallow. So many people worry about what other people think, rather than just making things they're proud of. In Sweden it's called Jantalag, 
A simple-minded jealousy that stops a lot of people from expressing themselves. Instead of making things, they create barriers for themselves. It's not unique to Sweden in any way. It's just an ignorant and self-indulgent way of looking at life. Often it becomes one of the main reasons for people to never finish their ideas. Hope you liked the episode. If so, please subscribe and please share it with anyone you think would like it. Alright, see you next week.